What is up foodies? It's your boy Sean Mashangu aka the modern Mkwenyana aka Don Foodie Yoli and I'm mm -hmm. teaming up with Tag for yet another video. I know you love these Tag videos so we're gonna keep them coming. And this video we're reviewing Master Chef. I think Master Chef has to be right now my number one favorite food show on DSTV and it's coming back at the end of this month. Probably when you see this is coming out 28th february master chef south africa is coming back to your screens and obviously we're gonna have to review so without any further ado let's cook my feet okay so foodies i asked you guys on my instagram for you guys to give me a mystery box and shout out to ritu i picked your mystery box because i thought it was something that's within my cooking style all of y'all were just coming up with some crazy stuff some cookie dough and all of that with chicken guys really really so let me show you guys the mystery box shout out again to ritu okay foodies so my mystery box contained fish sweet potato and red cabbage i'm glad she kept it simple because it allowed me some creativity in my cooking and i could grab some things out of the pantry to create an incredible meal and look at these i got me some master chef knives if you know spa had this sale going on with master chef and we got these knives at a great discount they are amazing and amazingly sharp too you'll see in the next couple of clips that i did cut myself a little bit but i love me a sharp knife because i'm sharp too ha huh? We're gonna slice up our red cabbage like so and then we're gonna cut the tops and bottoms of our sweet potato and skin them and dice them up so that they're perfect. So foodies, MasterChef is in its fourth season here in South Africa and if you haven't watched MasterChef, please get into it. 20 home cooks will be coming together on your screens on the 28th of February on Mnet at 6 o'clock. Trust me, MasterChef is one of the best shows out there because you get to see people from different backgrounds coming together to do one thing they all love and agree on, which is cook. And you know I'm all about that. I'm so excited because we're going to have new judges. For the first time, we're going to have new judges. We're going to have chefs Zola Nene, Gregory Zaneki. I hope I said that right, and food editor Justine Drake. So I'm very excited to see what the critiques are, especially chef Zola Nene. I'm a big fan of her, love her, love her content and everything so i'm very excited to see her take and how she's going to judge them on their food this season this is going to be this is a fast-paced show a high pressure show because there's so much at stake one million rand is up for grabs and obviously the title of master chef like who does who doesn't want to be called a master chef i know i want to be called a master chef someday in the future i still need to prepare for it but yeah let's get back into this food as you can see foodies from this time lapse i've sliced up my red cabbage i've diced up my sweet potatoes don't they look perfect and then i'm gonna start seasoning up this lionfish it was absolutely amazing because it's thick and you know i like thick steaks so this was really cool to do make sure to dry up your fish with a cloth or some paper towel to make sure that it's dry so that you can achieve that crispy skin that we all like on fish so i kept the seasoning very simple with salt and pepper and just olive oil and now i'm going to teach you guys how to properly prepare your skillet when cooking fish because fish is very delicate it tends to break up when the skillet is too hot or not properly oiled up so what you want to start with is a high heat pan with some olive oil i like to take it to a point where the oil starts smoking like as seen on screen and then i move my fish around in the pan like so just so it can leather up in that oil and make sure that it doesn't stick and to go with this fish i made this delicious sour cream and dill sauce it was so simple to make i put in some sour cream black pepper salt olive oil half a lemon and of course some dill this was absolutely delicious this goes well with any type of fish do try it and now we're gonna check on our fish just look at that crispy skin on the bottom of that fish that is absolutely satisfying this fish did not stick not one bit and now we're gonna deep fry our cubed up sweet potato this is a nice side dish that i like to do it goes well with steaks it goes well with fish basically anything sweet potato is amazing and now once we've seared up our fish steaks we are going to baste them in a lemon butter sauce and we're gonna throw in some rosemary in there some garlic and then we're gonna based away doesn't that look so satisfying this fish was absolutely amazing foodie gang you guys will definitely love this i feel like this dish was definitely master chef worthy please let me know in the comments
And now, foodie gang, you know we love to cook, but more than anything, we love to eat what we cook. It is time to plate. Firstly, our beautiful fish steak, but not as beautiful as you. And then our deep fried sweet potato, but never as sweet as me. And then we're gonna go in with our red cabbage slaw that I made with some mayonnaise and some Greek salad dressing. Trust me, the combos were communicating. And of course, our sour cream and dill sauce. This meal was absolutely to die for. Doesn't that look like it should be on the MasterChef screen? I bet it does. Everybody in my family enjoyed it. I especially enjoyed it. Well, foodies, we've reached the end of our delicious review video. You can look forward to more deliciousness on MasterChef South Africa Season 4. It's premiering again at 6 o'clock, 28th February on Mnet on DSTV. Peace.